Uh, you'll be live in three, two, one. Hello, everybody. I am Theo, and I have my commentators. They can introduce themselves. I'm TSG, whatever. I am Zolus. And this is LEGO Star Wars, the video game, any percent. This is one of four LEGO Star Wars games, and this is the best one out of them. People who disagree... There are five. Five? Yeah, that's true. Yep. That There's five. All right. There, there, there are... There are like, there are eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12, counting the portables. Uh, and it looks like my emotes have been added, so spam the chat with TSG dad, please. And I will I will let you know when the timer starts, because it starts at a weird place. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. All right. So it starts at the end of this cutscene, so I'll tell you when. So, this game is the most broken LEGO Star Wars game out of the millions that there are. And a lot is going to happen on this first level. So much is going to happen that I'm going to explain most of it after this level. So, just, just watch and we'll get to it. Dennis Fernando. <laughs> Dennis Fernando. <laughs> All right, timer is about to start. It's going to start right now. Good luck. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to first don't not going to collect any studs in this first room and I'm not going to kill any enemies. And so got to go to the end of this room where I'm going to do a cut I'm trying to do a cutscene skip. By pushing TC14 up against this panel, and then as soon as I turn in, <laughs> turn into TC14, I can uh, activate the panel, which will skip the cutscene. And then I'm going to join in player two. This is single player, but I'm using two controllers. Just because if I don't use one player, two controller there, the AI of the Jedi will not follow me because I didn't kill the battle droids and then I'm going to do something right there very magical it's called a transition skip it's whenever you push a uh, player two behind or another uh an inactive player yeah behind the trigger and whenever you do that the trigger doesn't activate so trans tr the trigger to transition to the previous room doesn't activate so you can turn into them and whenever you're behind there uh, you can do anything. Uh, you can go as far as the map goes, which isn't very far, and drop under the map. And so, whenever I got under the map, I went to that little tank thing and cl uh, hit the trigger to end the level. Yeah, for, for some reason, floors in these games um, extend quite a while um, under the um, intended floor. Yeah, the out of bounds mechanics just work out so well because, um, as you noticed, he was kind of staying in place some of the times, but he was also dropping or going up. Um, when you're moving, your Y coordinate is locked in place, but you can jump. You can continue to jump while out of bounds, and you'll stay locked into that Y coordinate that you jump up to. And if you stop moving, you just drop down. So you're probably wondering, you were just in episode one. Why are you in episode three? Well, you see, you have to beat all three episodes in an any percent run. You have to reach three sets of credits. And it is faster to do episode three, or finish episode three, then two, then one, because timing start, stops whenever you lose control on the last level you need to complete. And after you complete a level, there is a cutscene every time. And the cutscene at the end of episode one is 40 seconds slower than episode three and episode two's cutscene that you would have seconds. to watch. 20 seconds. It keeps changing. The cutscene's, the cutscene's 40 seconds long, and it's 20 seconds slower than doing episode two last. So we do episode one, we finish episode one last. And the reason we do episode three before episode two is because 
whenever you quit out for the first time, uh, the pos your position in the diner positions you closer to the episode three door. So you can, it's saves two seconds to jump there and than it would to jump there after beating episode two. Now this is a hard level. He was practicing this, practicing this for hours before this run. Yeah, this level is a real tough, tough one. Yeah, this is a long and very difficult uh, auto scroller with so many AI manipulations and frame perfect tricks that it'll make even the most skilled speedrunners sweat. Yeah, not falling asleep is a frame perfect trick. It's really hard to not fall asleep sometimes. And this game was also my childhood game. This game was also run last year at DGen Homathon by Ignite, but since that run, thing things got uh, real with this game. That was before transition skips, or useful transition skips were found. And the game has become so much, the time has, times have gone so much lower since then. Yeah, the game might as well have been glitchless back then. There were like two, maybe three things that were actually used in runs. Yeah. Two things, but three depending on the runner. Um, and then we've also, uh, decided that using two controllers on your own is considered solo, so that was also implemented into the run, and that saved a lot of time too. Fun fact, in other LEGO games, 1p2c is banned for no reason. Because, single player. because playing by yourself is co-op, you're cooperating with yourself because you're lonely and have no friends. Yeah, shots. Only reason it's allowed in LEGO Star Wars 1 is because the series mods have of the LEGO leaderboards have no control over LEGO Star Wars 1, only Zolas and I have control over it. And we know that 1P2C is solo, so... But we're not gonna go into that. We could go into the fact that you didn't want it at first. I only didn't want it because I would have to do- lazy. I would have to learn other strats. Lazy. Man, I didn't die in this level, that's a- that's a plus. Alright, and now this level is pretty broken. One, probably... You only got 30,000 studs? I wasn't trying. What are you? What are you doing in any percent run? I wasn't trying. This is max percent story mode, don't you know? You need 50k or the stud routes won't work out. Sorry. So, get ready for this level. This is a, uh... This is a fun level. <laughs> It's real frustrating when people are walking around in my house. Tell them to go to bed. <laughs> Tell them to go to bed at 7 o'clock. Alright, yep. so I did a transition skip there, and then watch this. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Ridiculous stream delay, yay. Even yeah, in this. There we go. I think we have like 10 seconds in beam. Not, wait, beam? Is this beam? Yeah. Alright, so I did a transition skip on that pipe. And for some reason, the game developers decided to leave the load zone to the next room on the corner of that pipe. And so if you transition skip there, and you can hit it, and it'll warp you to the Count Dooku fight. Whenever I found that, I was, I was ecstatic. You do not walk down the Darth Maul hallway for two hours, you walk down it for 20 minutes. And also, by the way, I just uh, quick killed Count Dooku there. If, you, if yeah. you slash him and manipulate his AI to follow you to that exploding bomb, bombs will insta-kill anything that gets in it with that has hearts, so. It's the Darth Vader hallway you walk down for two hours. Yeah, yeah, but what you just said, any bomb will kill any enemy, no matter what. Yeah. There and is one quote-unquote exception to that, 
but I'll explain that when we get there. <laughs> That's because the game made sure. I'll explain yeah. that. That's your little fun fact that I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just such an interesting thing. It is interesting. All right, so I'm just going to turn into R2-D2 and just ditch these guys because you can fly around this little thing that's supposed to stop R you from ditching them with R2. Mixed up your Darths, come on. Darth Tyrannus. Darth Plagueis the Wise. Brotherhood, the tragedy of Darth, Darth Plagueis. Or it's grievous, maybe. No. Yeah. I I am the the biggest noob of all the memers. You're just a noob in general. Oh God. Also, TSG has world record in the irrelevant Lego Star Wars game. Like Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga. One of the irrelevant ones. But it's more relevant than some of the irrelevant ones. Yeah, it's the most so, relevant of the irrelevant. He has some credibility. It's the second most Darth relevant Darth Fernando. One. <laughs> no, the second most relevant one is a uh, Lego Star Wars Game Boy. Oh my exactly. god. <laughs> Perns is doing Lego Star Wars 2 Game Boy now. Oh my gosh, that game is so much fun. It's so bad. <laughs> it got seats. All right, I should do more runs of it. And now this is the shortest level in the game coming up. I thought that was one one though. Was it? Oh yeah. I th besides negotiations, it wouldn't be the shortest. It, negotiations wouldn't be the shortest if we included that cutscene. I think. If you included that cutscene... Actually, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would not be the shortest. It would be uh, approximately two minutes. As opposed to this being a minute 50 segment. Darth Plague is confirmed to be Snoke. I love when I mash A and that screws up what I do here. Okay, so this boss here is the uh, quote-unquote exception. Because, as you see here, he shoots those bombs right next to him, and he doesn't instantly die. The reason behind this is that, um, whenever he goes into one of those bomb phases, he's at, uh, in the coding, it actually turns on invincibility for him, and blowing up the bomb does not, uh, hurt him, but it triggers a flag that just causes him to lose a heart. And so you can go ahead and blow up this bomb before going back down to fight him in this game you can't do that in tcs so he'll just jump back up there and come back down instantly clone wars has runs what are you talking about mc all right that was a good grievous besides the very beginning but uh a new hope is not included in this it's included in uh all levels though and all levels and will be added eventually. When I'm not the only person to have done a run. Death Vader. Death Vader. Alright, and this level... Death Vader is now the Grim Reaper. This level is the first level that has Yoda in it. And you're going to see why Yoda is such an interesting level. A hard mode when you die. This game is meant for kids, so I don't think people would like that. I wouldn't like it. Every, I. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lego Star Wars one for the Game Boy, but not the whole. Yes. Level. <laughs> yeah, you get uh, sent back to the start of a room, and everything resets in the Game Boy version. It's awful. There are a few levels in. Shout out to you. where it happens. Yeah, shoutouts to Yadra for putting up with the Game Boy Advance version. Shoutouts to Yadra. Also, gun characters are... Their, their attacks are so much faster than a Jedi. Especially the Wookiees. The Wookiees attack slightly faster than any other gun characters. Yeah, I've noticed that. 
Also, Yoda's uh, lightsaber attacks are the second slowest in the any percent run. But his movement speed is the fastest. Actually, they are fast. It's just that, um... Well, um, it, normal slashes are fast, but they're just, uh... Combining that with movement is just slower than using, uh... Yeah, Chewing, losing yeah. losing studs is really, really bad at any percent, because we really need studs so that we can buy the mustaches. Yeah. Yeah, losing studs is annoying, though, when it comes to categories like 100% or all levels. Because some levels, well, like, when you die, you don't just lose the studs that fall out. Some studs actually disappear, and you can't get them back. percent story. Oh, yeah. But, um... <laughs> If you die too many times, which shouldn't really be an issue if you practice the game enough, or just play it enough, for that matter, but, uh, if you die enough, you just can't get true Jedi in some of the levels. So yeah, Yoda's, uh, movement speed is the fastest in the new percent run. Yeah. As you can see him flailing around. Overall, though, he's third fastest. And he does have an interesting... Interesting mechanic. The hover chair is slower than him jumping around. But he has an interesting mechanic that you'll see me do in the next level. A little glitch. That only has one or one RTA use in any percent. Tons of task uses though. Tons. Uh, an extra use, maybe an extra two. Yeah, that's tons. If it's if it's more than one, then it's tons. If we didn't have a tr if we didn't have transition skips, it would have awesome uses in a uh, ruin. Yeah. Did did it's... have a use temporarily? Then transition skips were found. Well, yeah, I am um, kind of stated that they were RTA viable there. They agreed with me, and no one did a run with it. Well, it's because. Like literally I, the next day. <laughs> I was I was day. attempting runs with it. Like yeah, there's a low task of this game. From before transition skips. And it's still faster than the any percent record. <laughs> it's co-op though. I mean with a task co-op and solo, it just doesn't differ really. It's Fair just any enough. percent. I mean, it was co-op, but uh, now that the number of characters used at the time does not determine so call it the words. We'll pretend I finished that sentence. Okay. Well, well stated sentence. I agree. <laughs> I think people understood what I was trying to get across. You can task this game. This so, game. You can task how is it this. A meme? As, you can task this and Lego Star Wars 2. And the Game Boy game. I'll just keep going. No, you need to pause the game. And you Dude. can pause the timer too, because that's okay. Alright, I'm going- oh, I don't know. We'll, have... we'll count this as a soft lock. <laughs> so you can pause oh, your hey, timer. Oh, it's fixed. Yeah. 
Uh, the, the, right. uh, the now the now the Twitch memes. the Twitch stream is now ahead of the theme one. It it always was though. It wasn't for me. It was like two seconds behind for me. <laughs> All right. Well, now Twitch is like ten, uh, fifteen seconds ahead, maybe. This transition skip saves the most time. Oh, it saves like fifty seconds. It skips having to do a bunch of platforming and forcing of switches. And shoutouts to Hard Rocker, aka Hard Cocker, aka the Car Cocker of Destiny. That was for you right there. Oh, I can jump to live. There we go. So now it's slightly ahead on the beam again. All right, now what it's time for uh, mouse. Put your mouse by the pause button, and it should have like something that says uh, like X amount of seconds behind, and you can jump to the live point. Now this hallway coming up, I know all too well because I ran down it for two hours. It was a fun run that we did that. This hallway. And you know what? I'm going to do the dumb jump for uh, for the marathon. Oh. Oh. Because memes. One-handed runs. One-handed 1P2C. One-handed 1P2C. Actually, if I could do that, then I could just have one hand on each controller. Yeah. Now, in this room, it is actually impossible to force all of these girders before the timer runs out, so... <laughs> so I have to... We have to force to pillars. Two of them, at least, in order to have enough time. It's absolutely required, says the runners from, like, two, three years ago. Cap. More than two years ago, because I started running two years ago. Wow, we're old. Yeah. We're washed up. Uh, so now I'm gonna do this uh, little jump. You know, I did it in a run. Got it for got it first try and lost time. <laughs> did the did the entire level perfectly and got that jump and lost time. So one hand, two controllers. You probably said the uh, kind of did the jump kind of slow then. Because it only saves like half a second. Aw. It's not not used because it's hard. It's just that it's hard to save time with. Okay, I'm not dealing with it anymore. <laughs> One hand, two controllers. Alright, what you're about to see right here is called a swag yeah. backflip. Shoutouts to Linkus. Someday that meme will die. Someday. Someday. That in, you know, in the in the Lego community, it is a, it's actually a requirement to uh, give shoutouts to Linkus7, twitch.tv slash Linkus7. He's to give streaming right to now. He's streaming as we speak. <laughs> you need to give shoutouts to him every I time a swag backflip is performed. I would have reset over that, but I'm not. I should reset, actually. I'm resetting right now. There we go. All right, we're gonna start from a new game. I actually, I actually can't see the jump to live feature in the air. That's because oh. you're Swedish. What is it showing your what? What does the uh, timer say in your stream right now? Twenty two fifteen. Oh, you're like you're fifteen two, seconds behind me. You're like two seconds behind me. Theo is Theo's two seconds behind me. Yeah. Not TSG. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time for episode two. And if you're wondering why I saved and reset, there is a cutscene after that will that status screen that if I don't save and reset, then I have to watch and it's the longest cutscene in the game. It's Anakin getting found by Palpatine and Padme giving I birth. I don't think it's the longest in the game, but Oh, I thought you said it was the longest. I said it was the longest uh 
end of episode cutscene. Oh. That reset saves like 23, 24 seconds. And also, I've been canceling the saves at every time the save prompt comes up because it's slower to save, obviously. And now this level. This level is also an interesting level. In no game, is it faster to save? TCS, it would still be faster to skip the save until the first reset. Probably. But I'm bad at menuing. Definitely. I mean, it's definitely not as much. It probably only wastes like a second or two in that game. Tops. On the on the PC version? Well, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, you think I'm talking about saving in the Wii version? <laughs> You're not supposed to save in the Wii version. Sh Shadows to Pernst. Yeah, he completely imitates your run, even though resets are slower on Wii. I don't, I don't think he. I mean, he, pr he probably doesn't think that a uh, auto save loses time because he, I told well, um, Alka told him how to cancel auto save in Fire Stars Two, and he said it doesn't matter. It's like okay, sure, sure. Auto uh, resetting also... lost time in Fire Stars Two with auto save. On GameCube. I think it does. I don't know. So yeah, two back-to-back -back transition skips. Damn, the, these upside-down glitches, though. Upside-down glitches, oh. <laughs> upside-down. <laughs> I did something that obviously makes the real player go upside-down. It's definitely not the reflection that's in the floor that's actually loaded as an upper model. This is the GameCube version. GameCube version uh, is the second fastest version. Yeah. It's like 30 seconds slower than a decent PC. And I just don't do PC because it's... it's, it's some, it can be more annoying to play on. Yeah. And it isn't the biggest deal in the Shit. world. But, but hey, SM Kirky does it. Well, SM Kirky is Jesus. And, and he plays and on keyboard. For fuck's sakes, everyone is so loud. Why don't you tell them all to shut up? <laughs> Treat them like Theo treats his dogs. Exactly. <laughs> which have been surprisingly tame, which is not going to be the case now that I've said that. Also, this is the oldest out of bounds glitch in the game. Now, treat them how I tell Theo how to treat his dogs. With a gun. <laughs> All right, so with that glitch, you force those should... blocks up, and you go under them. And whenever you die, you go back to the last solid ground you were on, and those blocks don't count as solid ground. And since the blocks are covering the sol last solid ground you were on, and you died, uh, the blocks obstruct it and push you under the ground. It's great. Yeah, I think we should stop going for the. We'll try to figure out how to get the setup where you just get pushed into a wall instead, because that would save like half a second. The task would do it right. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much the method that TCS does, because TCS can't get pushed out of well, underground. But they can jump underground by doing the upside down glitch on Vespin. <laughs> <laughs> betrayal or oh wait a minute yeah betrayal oh Vespa. he yeah. juked me <laughs> you can slash him as soon as he hits the ground but he juked me <laughs> i've never seen him juke me that hard my ankles were broken dude you, you like slash in the opposite direction of where he was it's so fun missing him on tcs wii because it's like oh I missed you, no problem, I'll be there in a second. Double jump slash and just do a jump slash. <laughs> just because of the movement speed. You know, when I when I when I miss him I I, I just do a, a, another single jump slash. Well, uh if he misses you like where he jukes you and goes the other way, you can't just This is OG, aka the good game. <clears throat> 
TCS is subjectively better, but not as interesting. In the it is not in as interesting of, as a speedrun. It's yes. a better casual game. Better casual without a doubt. It's, some categories are better at some points than TC. But honestly, I'd say uh, no. uh, both. I guess both any percent and Hundo for for TCS and Lego Stars One are. I'd say they're both pretty much the same in entertainment value. It's just that TCS has them both significantly longer, so that kind of puts it and. Puts it in a negative light. Transition skips were patched in Lego Star and all the other Lego Star Wars because they put an invisible wall right behind the transition transition trigger, or the transition trigger is an invisible wall. World record for Hundo. Don't say the one that you didn't get all the mini kits, Solas. Three fifty two something. It should be lower than that, but somebody it was should smart. Be... <laughs> I've explained the reasoning for that before. Prequel levels are better than the trilogy, oh, original trilogy levels. Yeah, just allow more. Especially since the original trilogy levels all have like droids in them, so they're no fun. There's only like two levels in original trilogy that don't have droids. without co collision coming up shout yeah. outs to the wall the without wall. collision the wall that i claim to have found for several years and then <laughs> and then the 2006 sda run proved me wrong it's it's like they put I, mean, I, I did find it on my own though i didn't find it from another source so you know half they, right they put they put a floor there, but they forgot to put a wall right next to it. This is a GameCube version, and something dumb happened, so I'm not gonna talk about what was supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, so so he was supposed to jump into the bucket, yeah, but you should just uh, block him. You should just do it with two controllers like I do now. I would. I'm, I'm. It doesn't even lose. Well, it might lose half a second. But you can also skip the cutscene. Doesn't save time, but it's swag. I was thinking about it because same thing happened to me last night. Yeah, it, well, for that, and someone asked about the PS2 version. Uh, it is bad. It's the slowest version of this game. Loads are slow. Yeah, that's about it. Resets are so oh, yeah. slow that they're not even worth doing. And it auto saves. This is the only version that doesn't auto save. Uh, yeah. Or does the Game Boy version auto save? Oh my God, the Game Boy yeah. version is a different game. Game Boy, you know, Game Boy I, version is better than this. I was about to answer my own question, but uh, I don't have rat batteries right now, so guess I can't turn on my Game Boy. Damn. All right, so I ch I jumped and shot at this very very precise angle, and I knocked down this whole pillar. Super precise. Super precise that even the casuals can do it. That's how hard it is. It's a little precise in where you do it. I go out a little farther, so it's free. It's it's extremely easy in TCS. I feel bad for myself. Aiming is free in TCS. You don't even have to aim. <laughs> It auto aims. You don't even have to play in order to hit it. <laughs> you don't even have to touch the controller. You don't even have to turn the console on. You don't even have to breathe. The game doesn't even have to be developed in order to hit it. Star, Star Wars doesn't even have to be invented for you to hit it. Yeah, uh, people were getting this back in like the 1800s. On TCS? Yeah, it, 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 the Game Boy exactly. version isn't 3D because the Game Boy can't handle uh, that. It's like it's kind of it's, it's like, kind of top down 3D. Yeah.
so if I just stand right behind this little thing that uh, Obi-Wan is imprisoned in, I can just force his bondages without the droidicas shooting me? It doesn't have, like, a camera that moves in different... It's like a... I mean, it stays in the same angle, but it does move with you. So... And this level sucks. I mean, it kind of does in the original Star Wars games as well, in, like, all of them. Oh. It kind of does. It's like... <clears throat> If if you're on a specific console, that it that is anything but we, you you can move the camera around, but it doesn't you know work like any oh. other 3D games. Yeah, it just slightly moves around. And you can see a few pixels outside of where the camera normally is. You can the stream froze for me again. <laughs> Great. You can, you can move the camera around, but you can't look at it in a different angle. Uh, so this level is completely 100% RNG, even these beginning parts. Oh, that was nice. RNG battle. <laughs> Except it's not. I know. It's I lost the run to though. RNG, dude. It's not in TCS, you just haven't done enough research. It might be, it might not be. I don't know, we're too, la too lazy to test anything. Most stuff only gets tested when I decide I want to play the game. <laughs> Which nowadays is never, because you hate everyone. <laughs> That's true. I... Complete RNG. I do hate most of the TCS A Psycho Ripper I'm here. Live. I don't... know. But, yeah. um, but hey, look, look on the bright side, Zolis. At least the entire TCS community isn't racing monster. That's true. They're they're just brothers in the creed. Shoutouts to Racing Monster. That feel when we do all this memeing live. Also, he uses that bomb to blow off the droidicas. Oh yeah, if you know. walk around that pillar, it manipulates the droidicas to get closer to that little bomb. And yeah. since bombs insta kill everything, it kills three of those. I think droidicas. a task would not do that. A task probably just random thought. Yeah. Task would just uh, make sure to get every droidica in one slam and then deflect all the shots. Well, you fast. can still get two droidicas by, or one or two droidicas yeah. by the bomb without doing it. I mean, you always get one. That's like guaranteed unless you fuck something up big time. And this is where RNG is because I have no idea where these red battle droids are. Yeah. Hard Rocker's messaging me in the DGen Discord. I already talked about the Hard Cocker. All right, yeah. Now I don't know where these two, these dudes are. Yeah. Oh wow, oh. they were all right here. Actually, what a coincidence. Good RNG, except um, I don't know where this last red dude is. Yeah. Um. Oh, there uh, he is. These um. <laughs> These droids are pretty much always spawned in the same place, depending on how fast you do the first part. Um, but, like, their actual movement, though, is a little... So if something screws up, you can blame it on RNG, but usually it's just because you went through a first area slow. Also, there's another boss quick kill right there. Luckily, I didn't miss it this time. <laughs> you would have he heard the best moan you've heard in your life. Which one was Marathon was that? Was that Chigashi Yeah. Yeah, that that was the meat on. Um I need I need to go find that clip now. Uh, <laughs> everyone needs to so see easy. that. It's for it? every everyone needs to everyone. see that. Everyone find that and post it in the chat. Yeah, it's it's great. I it, it's so easy to get and sometimes just randomly I'll miss it. And it, weren't you, TSG, weren't you gonna make that sound your reset sound or something? Um I think I think I was gonna make make it my gold sound. Um, oh, uh, I'm not I'm not gonna attempt. TCS did not mess up the pod race. It made it amazing, but pod it did mess up cavalry. Cavalry uh, was a masterpiece. I mean, just look at this high quality gameplay right here. I mean, they tried to make it more gameplay, but it's just 
annoying. You, can, you, can, also, you can't listen to ASMR to it. Anymore. Exactly. <laughs> also, by the way, on the last room in this level, make sure to spam the emote, the FFZ emote twenty. The, that looks like a twenty-six called twenty-six or riot. Just, just do it. There we go. <laughs> All those 26s made my mouse screw up. <laughs> Alright. Oh moves. man. Oh man, the 26 are riots. 26 or riot in all caps. Um, where, where is this clip? I need <laughs> Plus 13.2, that's TSG's. Email. It is not even in all caps. What are you talking about? Oh, I thought it was. You are wrong. Good sir. 13 seconds. Um, well, oh OG, my God. I'm too lazy to find this. Uh, it should be. <laughs> what? <somewhere. laughs> I like that emote. The run. The run. Oh my God. I mean. Don't, don't worry about me. this I'm just... is looking really bad. Oh, it is bad. Rip I'm the 26. Just... There's the 26. I'm just finding this clip. Not even paying Maybe attention to the We need a new emote that's like 19 and we lynch you. 19 and we lynch you. Look at this. It's going to be a nice 14. <laughs> Let's go. 19 get lynched. That's that what uh that needs to be a new FMZ emote. I expect you to work on it immediately. Okay. I need to make uh, um, jokes I, I on you go... on just your emote. I will. I, I'll lynch you with some steel girders if needed. <laughs> okay, are you gonna tie a noose out of the steel girders? Yep, and then I'm gonna impale you with it. Alright. And now it's time for Dooku. One visit. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting all the mini kits and true Jedi on this level because this is max percent story mode, all mini kits and 100 percent. I'm doing all of those categories right 100%, now. 100 percent wouldn't one visit. Well, that's just dumb. Half to a max percent story oh my and God. all mini kits. It just lets you do a better route. Hello, hello, Obi Wan. <laughs> Why do you join Obi Wan in so early? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I just do. You should join him in when you're like r almost under the platform. No. At least that always works out for me. I will keep that in mind. Using Anakin. It's because at the beginning I, uh, I turned into him for movement, say, time save. Whoa. Because he's right, he's closer to the door. I turn into him in all mini kits and hundo because you grab the mini kit right there and you don't want to wait for the respawn. Now this is pod racing. Don't worry, you have, there's a perfect moment for you to sp uh, spam that in the f in the near future. Uh, I need to settings. Where do I do this? Clip hunting. Chat Clip filtering. Hunting. <laughs> uh, and you know words. I'm gonna... Now this is I'm gonna, pod racing. I'm gonna use this link right here. Okay, I think that will censor it, because I do not want to see that. Alright. This- oh yeah, he deleted the video. <laughs> Shit. Oh, wait a second. That, that means it's on the meat on them. Uh... No, it's not on his- he deleted all videos of it. It's somewhere it's... in our DMs history, or no? Go yeah. go to the go to the anime fan club DM. 
Oh, the, yes. Is it the actual anime fan club DM or yeah. is it the one that became Lego Fun? No, it's the actual anime fan club one. I remember it being there. Uh, there there it is. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. I, I forgot you. about the anime fl fan club DMs. The anime fan club before all of us were anime fans. <laughs> Credits are skippable by saving and resetting. Hashtag revive. Oh boy, there's my lucky star. Year. <laughs> Lego Star Wars 2 speedrunning. This is Lego. This is not Lego Star Wars 2. This is a good game. It's a. Is this Lego Star Wars 2? 2, 2? Alka, you um, you made a wrong turn. We don't want you. This, you're in the wrong neighborhood, so, bud. Some, somebody please ban Alka. That would be nice. Yes. Hashtag ban Alchemos. At yes. least, um, at least time him out. I'll let Zol version. I'll let Zolus explain why we do the episodes in the order again. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, I'm um... gonna do I'm gonna cock block him right now. The reason they do one three two one is um, because the timing rules in this game are so that you when you lose control of the character in the in the last completed level, that's when you stop the timer. And uh, also, um Go on. Sheet. How, how do I, how do I explain are you, that? Are you able to do this? <laughs> so the, the ending cutscenes of the ending levels in the episodes, right, they, they are all different lengths. There you go. And so, and so because um, uh, you can't skip them, but you can skip, you know, the ending cutscenes of the um, episodes themselves, you know, you, you kind of have to... You want to base your route around up. The last cutscene being the longest one, so it's not included in the timing. Yeah, that. And it saves 20 seconds to do episode one last by doing that. It saves 20 seconds over doing episode two last. Oh. Overall, uh, yeah. it saves like 27 seconds. What about episode three? So, very last is the slowest. 27 Damn. seconds. I forgot about that. Because that's the fastest ending cutscene. Unless you, uh, I mean, it's still, you only lose five seconds by getting the bad cutscene. Yeah, <laughs> then it's only like two seconds faster. Hard. Like, two seconds fa uh, slower, well, uh, two seconds shorter than the episode two one. 27 seconds is a lot. I mean, this game is pretty optimized, not super duper optimized. Uh, it can it's still optimized. go down. It's optimized for the amount of work people have put into it. Record could realistically go down to a 102. Low 102, maybe even a 101. Mm. Maybe. That, depends that is, depends is... on how crazy someone is. And, and world and record is 104.24 by Mr. I underscore love Snoopy. So basically, the, the 101 depends on when Snoopy decides to get off his lazy ass. And stop playing World of Warcraft. Well, Snoop was Snoop thought that a one out three would be good, so I don't know. My summer best. Is we need a real man, three. not Snoop. We don't need a dog. Yeah, Snoop's a dog. Dogs can't maybe, don't have thumbs. Maybe, they can't hold GameCube controllers. Maybe, maybe I'll maybe I'll pick it up for for All the right. memes. Well, your you, your TCS you, time. You put, you've put work into stuff. Really. Shoutouts to most of the runners of this game not putting work in, but still claiming to be maining this game. Alright, and now this is just a pretty boring novel. Spe speaking of putting work into stuff, I was supposed to be learning Lord of the Rings. But, is, but isn't it 5 a.m. for you? Should you just go back to Hundo Lang? Yeah, when's that too? Yeah, that's too. Uh, I, I was gonna do it during and this, when's, extra, during and this when's, extra long weekend, but. When's 326? When's 326? Uh, two months ago? Gosh, now I'm accepting that's a meme. I never accepted it as a meme, and I never will. No one's gonna touch the Game Boy version, just saying. The Game Boy version is pretty cool, though. 
We already gave you your shout out, Yadra. So you're not gonna get any more. Soon, TM. I have like three levels to learn, but I haven't touched it in like three months. <laughs> so I would have to relearn most of it. All right. Hopefully, Tarjay is good to me. The CEO of Target. <laughs> Tarjay. Tarjay was kind. Oh, well, we gave you a shout out a long time ago. Because we were talking about shout the outs during Kish It was during Kashyyyk. It was. It was like shout outs to Yadra for putting up with the game. Yeah. Uh, and in low percent, this is the only mini kit that you would collect. Low percent is a meme. Low percent will never happen. Tarj. <laughs> I say Tarjay ironically. <laughs> Tarjay. And now this is what real pod racing looks like. And I'll tell you when you can, um spam your little now this is pod racing emotes when's low percent i i just said low never pretty much is any percent Sec well technically Except the game doesn't even have a percent counter so low percent would be arbitrarily defined so technically it would like the most logical uh, uh what's arbitrary definition for it would be not collecting any uh a... Mini kits, well, as few mini kits and as few studs as possible. So, um, it would even technically involve you dying at the end of every stage several times to get rid of all your studs, and that's kind of dumb. But if you're going by the definitions the other LEGO games would have, it's just a uh... no arbitrary definitions in speedrunning. <laughs> <clears throat> um, if, other if... games, though, it wouldn't matter amount the studs, though, so it's literally any percent for this. If if power bricks are allowed, then the current any percent should be changed to low percent. Also, dot twenty sixteen. Let's let's uh let's stop memeing <laughs> like that. All right. Now this is a another difficult. We are level. in a public place. We are in a public place. <laughs> That's what makes it great. Ah uh, yes, I love seeing these asterisks on my screen. This is not the time to start spamming it. There's a particular place I've allotted for it because I always say it at a certain I mean, part in this level. Even more of an arbitrary definition. Like, technically any percent for the LEGO games are arbitrarily defined unless it has a linear story. But since, um, like, we kind of have to arbitrarily define it for these games to include all sets of credits. Which technically is also not right because... <laughs> Episode Ow. four has a set of credits, but we're not going to talk about that. But there oh, is a thing that shows up. Oh, the, well. there's a thing that shows up after a set of credits, though, that says episode one complete, episode two complete, and episode three complete. And as you complete the episodes, those highlight. There is not one for episode four, though. All right, don't worry. Your time to spam it's coming soon. Coming soon to own. So if we want to call uh, episode DVD, 4 included DVD. in that, then I have any percent world record. <laughs> OP OP. OP OP. Alright, get ready. Awesome. Now on all levels is any percent. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. It does not show episode four complete. That seemed. It has, it has three things, right, and... and it has them highlighted when you beat them. It now does not this show one for episode is four. pod racing. Um, Find the goats. Even when you beat episode four, it just shows one, two, and three. That that that's your time to spam it. By the way, in case my uh, visual or my audio cue wasn't good enough. Yeah, visual cue. Find the my visual cue because you can totally see my face cam. I mean, I yeah, do. Can, I do have we, it on. We can. We can. We can see your face cam. Yeah. We, we can see the TSG dab, yeah. and we can see Nagisa. 
and my wall scroll with Nagisa. Yes. Oh yeah, if I forgot and, about that. And yes, your MAGA hat. hat. <laughs> yeah. And and your juice pack. Yep. No, and that's a goldfish. root beer. And and your whatever the fuck that is. And your closet. Yeah. And your window. Oh man. And my desk and my phone. And your controller right now. Oh wait, and you might your... not be able. No. And oh, you can't see your. I can even see your hair. Whoa, you can see my headset, right? And no, I can't see your headset. It's you hidden can buy your hair. <laughs> I can I can see your pop filter though. And you can see my expensive microphone that I haven't fully set up yet. Is this world record? No. This is. Could this be marathon world record? Yes, this is definitely marathon world record. Kappa. Marathon world record is like a 107. And I can... I thought you had a 106 once. No, I got a 107. And this is either going to be a casual 105 or a 106. Fuck, the command isn't in. I... That command is not in. Just go copy and paste it. Go to my chat. Right. Type in yeah. exclamation mark TSG. Why would anyone in their right mind ever go to chat? Because I'm relevant. I, I'm doing it exclusively to get the exclamation point TSG up in here. By the way, since my last fo whenever I get 250 followers on Twitch, I'm going to write and produce my own ASMR video on stream. <laughs> oh, so you hit 200? Yeah, I hit 200 last night. I'm reading Magic Tree. The Magic Tree also has the Holocaust on Friday. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Will it have Jack's PTSD? It... Mm, I don't know. It yeah. might. And frame perfect final lap. Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, it's frame perfect to finish that lap since one's on the timer. It obviously means that it's frame perfect. Even though it's impossible to get anything but a one. Unless also, you do pod race clip. Shoutouts to Hard Rock. <laughs> Again. Shoutouts to Hard Rock. Who thinks that's a thing? He memes about it. If you find you a wall without, him. if you find a wall without instantly kill you collision, then maybe. And it would. Do oh wait, the walls things. don't walls don't instantly kill you. I don't think. Do they? No. Yeah. Yes. No. Depends. Why don't you I check? Think. I've checked at one point. You, sh you should have checked during. You were just there. Why didn't you check for me? I'm sorry. When is the Battle of Naboo run? Um. When, when is when is well, Phantom here, here is... Battle Battle for Naboo is not in the game. But retake the palace is right now. Oh. But Battle for Naboo and you play as the Gun Guns will be a playable level in Lego the Phantom Lego Star Wars the Phantom Menace. For the, PS1. For, the, for the uh for the switch ps4 and xbox one and pc coming out in 20xx zolus is going to be the executive producer for it i'm going to be the director i'm, I'm going to be the programmer by the way guys i made this game smiley face i made tcs i made this game this is the work of fio right here See this barrel I'm I... flying up? I made this. <laughs> I made the TCS, and that's oh, why I have battle... a record oh. in it. I didn't know that. <laughs> Probably a bad game. Twenty <laughs> <laughs> XDX. Rogue Squadron. I have if that it has game, the word Star it. Wars in it, and it's not Lego, it's probably a bad game. And it isn't ba Star Wars Battlefront 2? And it's bad. Moss eyes lay assault. All games are bad, to be honest. I like that barrel, too. Oh, man. Oh, shout out to this guy for rolling again. What a guy. Say thank you, Mr. Droidica, everyone in chat, please. He was a good guy. He, he was supporting the cause of speed by rolling again. <laughs> Tactical rollouts, yo. 
Only good ones are. Two. I only played one and two. I, oh, actually, no. I played. I the played. Third. I played the recent one. I played it the recent one. It's pretty good. The new one. And yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. only it's only a good. It's like Call of Duty, but with Star Wars. Not. Okay. I mean, there are some Call of Duty modes that are good. All right. I was play I I don't know what it was called in this, but it was like that just survival mode or whatever. Also, by the way, this is the hardest trick in the Not game. Like I just zombies. got it easily zombies because I'm God. And I got it perfectly because I'm God. Perfectly. You didn't perfectly. just walk right in. You had to jump over and then fall out again. Okay. How is that perfect? I did it excellently. It is almost over, but it's all right. We have the Theed skips, both of them. Number numero dos is right here. And by the way, the next Theed skip it has the most, the most retarded name I have ever heard in my entire life. Theed skip 2.0. Kill me. I mean, just look at this. Don't jump in the crawl hole. Good. You jump into that crawl hole, then you get stuck in there. <laughs> And then you have to do the room normally. Both of those, all right. The first lead skip saves around thirty seconds to doing the room normally, and the second one saves yeah. a, about about thirty seconds. I My think. glitchless best segment is thirty seconds off of Snoop's best segment. Ha! I got a new best segment on Sunday. It does I, not save. Those do not save that much time. Those it's a farce. We shouldn't have listened to Theo because we learned a while ago that he doesn't know how to time things. I don't. I mean, I did time the first one. He times things based off of his segments. If he golds, he means he did something faster. It means everything else was the same as last time, and only the new strats were faster. So I did time. Obviously, we should listen to him. I did time the first one versus, and I, I've, I've timed both of them. If you yes. Feel. Don't choke on the M1. How much do you save a second one saves? What? How much do you save a second one saves? Second, all right. So my best for doing it was a 20. I, I think it was a 20. For saves that 20 seconds? No, no. Doing that room took 20. It was either 20 or 25 seconds to do that room. I bet you that one only saves like 10 seconds. 10, 15 seconds tops. Yeah. And the it first one only 15. saves like... Second, first one probably saves like 20. Snoop, 25. Snoop also timed the first one and said well, it was 35. Well, you guys 35. didn't do it properly. You are babies and use the Anakin crawl. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm. Comp I said normally. That is normally. Feel. Yeah, using the crawl. Hole. That's what. You not using the crawl hole is normal. Not choke on the M1. You know that was probably a best seg for this. Uh... <laughs> For that level, I'll retime. I, th I, th I think it requires some retiming, yo. Because my best seg screwed up the R2D2 barrel flying at the beginning. And now it's time for the last level, I'm afraid. I'm very sad. But there's one more transition skip, and a you skip doing part of the Darth Maul fight. You skip the first. It. You skip the first Darth Maul fight. Yeah. Don't choke the M1. It doesn't do, map. Do I'm going to get it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get it within the first 50 tries. <laughs> but I've been decent at it recently. 50 tries. I've been decent I get at it, it recently. I get it within three tries. Oh well, good for you. I I got it first and try on my super TV. Bad. Darth Maul fight. Death small oh, fight. Well, I got it first try in the in my PB tie that I got on Sunday. <laughs> and it doesn't even show up on speedrun.com. I know. Come on. You choked it. Okay, Th this jump is so goddamn easy. You have no idea. It is. It is so simple. If you don't get it within two or three tries, you probably should stop playing video games for life. See how simple that is? You just have it's to... There's invisible pixels it's... under that lamp, and you can use... Since those invisible pixels act like when you're under the map, you can keep jumping until you get to the top of that lamp, 
and then you can jump from the lamp over the gap. Re requires a bit of jump spacing, but that's about it. Yeah. He's platform forcing. Platform so scrub-like. So scrub-like. Alright, now it's time for the droids. How many deaths? I'm guessing two deaths. I'm guessing 15. 15 deaths, that's not gonna happen. Well, Even if I so. wanted it to happen. I'll donate a dollar if you get zero. There, this marathon doesn't accept donations. Uh, to you. Oh, okay. Alright. And and we force the droids off Ow. the platforms because it's faster. Yeah, you can just force them off the cliff in the... I'm about to get zero death. <laughs> Full health going into the droidicas. Fun fact, you can actually despawn the droidicas in TCS. It's pretty funny. Also, and guess who's to... getting a dollar? Yeah, okay. For, for some reason, the left hand droidica is offset from the button on the G GameCube version. I just got a zero death. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, and now this is the yeah. real barrier skip. Screw Wind Waker HD. Saves a whopping three seconds if done perfectly, which I did not do it perfectly. I just did it to show it off. Money. You know what? I'm not gonna give you the dollar. We're just gonna put it as one dollar towards the kidnapping TSG fund. Um. <laughs> well. Uh, then I'll. Why did I do that? I'll give the one dollar. I'll. Oh my god! I screwed the fight up. Or whatever. Also, time's coming up soon. So. It's a very sad moment. Save one sec? I don't know. A death wastes like four to five seconds. Yeah. Usually I get like one to two deaths in that. Room. And it can actually waste more if you're in the middle of a jump because it'll put you back. Yeah. That will sometimes waste an extra second or so. Also, also he entered this room as Obi-Wan for a reason. Well, it does not save time doing that. I, I, I entered it as Obi-Wan because that was who Player 2 was, but it also makes it so that I don't have to turn into a Player 2 whenever I'm about to be forced. Which doesn't even save time. <laughs> it's just one last... It's one, no. No, it's one less thing. A task... Do. You well, see... actually, um, two, having both players joined in actually makes him force Alright, get faster. ready, and... So time 106.22 scrub that is a marathon world record <laughs> so yes that was lego star wars the video game and i just want to show off this ending cutscene because it's a great cutscene after it's... this cutscene of qui-gon dying spoiler alert it's also, overrated. Show, show off the thing after the credits. It's overrated because it's because it wastes time in TCS. Verify that you have completed all, right. all three yeah, episodes, yeah, yeah. and then it doesn't include episode four in it. <laughs> all right, just look at it. Also, look, two of the Gungans don't have heads. Ah. And look, there's the there's Snoop's head in a few days. Whenever I take world record from him, as if that'll ever happen. It could happen if I get motivated. And I just produced, I just produced the first credits warp on stream. Just look at it; the credits are rolling. And there we go, all three episodes complete. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, and thank you, DJ and Dash, for having this run again.
It was yeah. fun. I'm glad to have it, man. Alright, 